I'm in my sleeping clothes also. Uh, were uh, you wearing something else? No. Uh, would you like to have been? <laughs> what, um, in a perfect world, <laughs> what would you have been wearing? <laughs> I mean, well, yesterday I wore, I wore, uh, what did I wear yesterday? Yeah, I don't even know. Everything blends together. Amen. I wore salvage, sure, yeah. salvage denim and, uh, and the uh, jungle jacket hmm. because I was working. Yeah. Um, I think I wore salvage denim and a jungle jacket uh, my last day at J. Crew. I think that was my outfit. I don't own any salvage denim, should I? Uh, I like it. I like. Yes, it's, it's funny. Answer. Ethan and I have had the have had the conversation. It's like okay, so we understand like what salvage denim is. Does what is why does that mean it's good? And we both buy salvage yeah. denim. We understand the appeal that it's like oh, it's like you know, uh, they have to use an older technique. It's generally higher quality denim. But it is kind of yeah. funny that like. It doesn't mean it's good just because it's yeah selfish. because because yeah. by definition it doesn't necessarily mean that like the denim itself is better. Mm -hmm. It's it just means, yeah. Uh, it's just the the way that like the uh, the like the fabric is or I guess is not cut. Yeah. To yeah. to get the to get the pant or whatever. That's right. Um. So we have a question from uh, Dan. He wants to know: Are these black? calf tassels ethan yeah, they're well, horse ass. Uh, hey they're they're black they're tassels but hey the animal's all wrong baby <laughs> <laughs> the, this one is not one with udders this is one with a giant a giant cock i guess i, I couldn't think of anything else, I think of anything else. What? um but no this is yeah that's what he thinks is, about jesus yeah. that, was, that was the first, <laughs> time the first. Matters, can <laughs> That's the first thing that pops to his mind. Is, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm writing this down. Um, okay. Uh, but, Jesus. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, but Dan, Dan hits on the head. They are indeed black shell. I am almost done tagging everybody who is in this band. Hold on now. Um, oh my god. Man, I'm going to sneeze it up. But yeah, so that's uh, yeah, that's that's what we're unboxing today. Um, Doesn't mean it's good. Once a time, it became a meme. What did we talk? What was that? Salvage denim. Oh, salvage denim. Yeah, I uh, my thoughts on salvage. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I don't think that yeah, like we talked about, like, you don't necessarily need to have it. Like my light wash denim, my khaki denim, um, they those ones. I mean, my black denim are not salvage, and then my blue jeans, like the regular indigo ones, are all salvage. I don't think that you absolutely need to have it to be good. Um, I think that if you're going to do salvage, you might as well do like raw denim or something. And that's something that you know, you wash and shrink and whatever, or LBC stuff. But if you're just looking for like regular jeans, I don't think they have to be salvage. I think they, you know, maybe that might be a, a hot take for some people, yeah. but you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, like, you know, maybe, you know, it's like, you don't have to always get Fox brothers fabric to be, have a good jacket. Right. It's just like, you don't have to always get something from, uh, I don't know, Tiffinelli or, or whatever whatever high marks tailor you want, you know, sometimes it's okay to kind of, you know, find the brand that you like and, and get it that way. Just like you don't, I mean, maybe the more, maybe the more, I guess it's a hot take, I don't know, like you don't have to always get bespoke. Like for me, I, I think I like wearing ready to wear just because there's less It's hassle. ready to wear. Uh, Dan, we, we, oh, sorry, yeah. you can finish that thought. Uh, no, I was going to say, like, uh, we were talking recently about, um, about like tailoring and like when, when you're more cognizant of like all the details and the fit stuff, it can actually make bespoke more anxiety inducing mm -hmm. when, uh, when you're, when you realize some things like don't fit, like maybe like, Oh, there's a little wrinkle across the back, which of course is fixable, but you know, with ready to wear, I think people are more forgiving. Right. So anyway, that, that's my whole thing on that. Uh, Dan says for denim, some people conflate salvage and raw and that's true. People, yeah, people do I mean, both. like people the Levi's strength to fit is raw denim, but it is not, uh, salvage. salvage. Yeah. So, yeah, it's out there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna post this. Fuck this. Who cares? Yeah. Just so raw it. denim, you have to like basically do it yourself. <laughs> DIY it's, denim. Yeah. The DIY, DIY, DIY denim. DIY <laughs> fades. Like, yeah. yeah. DIY yeah. fades. Make your own jeans. Uh -huh. It comes with the it comes with the sewing kit. <laughs> um, <laughs> you you gotta assemble your. Like, how many yeah, times so have to wash this thing to make it into a pair of like super light wash jeans? You but... you gotta you gotta put lifetime. the rivets in yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Raw, raw, raw yeah. denim isn't so. 
so much a like how long do I have to wear it as it is like a prison sentence uh, that you self impose. <laughs> how, how long? How long does it take to make it uh, good? Exactly. I would say like I mean depends how often you wear them obviously and how often you wash but at a minimum I would say like two two years. Jesus. I would just think like off. Off the top the of my head. The, the, first pair, the first kind of pair guy. of raw denim I got. I mean, it's like I I am not really the kind of guy that wants to take like a scientific approach to like my jeans being like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wash them like at this many like intervals or whatever, so I get the honeycombs on the back of the knees or whatever. But I do think I, I fucked up my first pair because I never gave it uh like a pre-soak or anything like that so they were still really stiff and starchy and never shrank and then i wore them for like six months or something like that and then washed them and they shrank a lot and uh got very fragile it seems mm. um, fragile no well not fragile i think i well no i think the issue was that i just like literally wore them uh like every day <laughs> and so they just they the the candle that burns uh twice as bright lasts half as long as that's the, right as, as they say in the candle business that, that is what yeah. they say in the candle business yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of interesting. i don't think we've talked I don't, we haven't people have asked me actually about like a blog post or a pod on g and Our candles yeah and uh i feel like it's it's coming it's uh <laughs> you know mm-hmm. um but oh here's the other it's thing that um about my my first uh pair of raw denim jeans they were uh or sorry like selvage raw denim so this was um i I, this one was one that i like saved up because i wanted the best um i got got a pair of lvc 33s um and those have exposed back rivets uh levi's took those out at a certain point, because they scratched up furniture, I scratched up a lot of furniture. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, people. You leaving a mark everywhere you went. Exactly. Uh, my grandfather got very mad when I sat on uh, in his wood chairs with my jeans and uh-huh. uh, scratched them up. <laughs> but um, that's what he sacrificed when for me. 